Hello Virgo, how are you? I'm Karma, this is Karma on Deck, my YouTube channel. We're gonna pull some cards for you and do your March 3rd through March 9th tarot reading for your zodiac. It's gonna be an interesting month for all of us from what I'm seeing so far. We got Mercury retrograde coming if you're not familiar with how that plays out. Plan on hearing from your exes, plan on breakups and makeups, lots of miscommunication. Problems with your planes, trains, and automobiles, computers as well, documentation, contracts, stuff like that. Tread softly, my love. Get on the roller coaster, just don't try to get out of it in the middle. Ride it out. Okay, Let's see where we're at, Virgo. Jameson jumped when I did that. He said, One card has popped up everywhere i just completely cleansed shuffled the deck burned some sage and the page of swords still comes up for us so i was trying to make sure it wasn't just something that got reshuffled in the deck but i cleared it but it's a running theme sometimes when i do my facebook live or my live videos where you can watch and interact with me there will be a theme of the night and honestly the page of swords is a the theme of life right now it's all short tempers moodiness bad attitude this means that you have a short temper and the people around you have a short temper. Um, best course of action for you guys. I can't believe I shuffled this deck and the same information is coming out. The Hermit. So hide out if you have to. Take some space for yourself. I feel like I'm repeating myself a couple of times here tonight, but that's okay. We're just going to take it and roll with it. This for you um, is time for you to play with the energy of self-care. You're the first one that got this. So look at here. So three of cups hiding out, taking, well not hiding out. Three of cups is saying no to social events. That's all I'm saying. This isn't hermiting. This is just saying no to extracurricular, stealing your energy kind of events. Like going to a club is not something you're gonna wanna do. Like hanging with the kids, yeah, do that. But this seven of cups means balance within. This isn't balance with any other individual. Seven of cups is talking to us about getting our intrinsic, atlas going and our balance settled within there's going to be a lot of that for you next week some of you are going to be working harder for your money than the rest of us um eight of coins this may go into some mercury energy the eight of coins means you're gonna to have to repeat some activities if you like missed a detail and have to rewrite a paragraph or were too quick and didn't pay attention and didn't pull out the first page or the introductory page for a paper you have to turn in. Just little random things. It feels like you're going to have to be a lot of repetitive energy as far as that goes. Just feel like you're going to be working a little harder for your money. You need a vacation. You need a vacation. Ooh. So yeah, you need a break. This is the seven of swords. This is like letting go of some things around you and just checking out, turning off your cell phone. This is a second time this came up tonight, but for you guys, this is surprising. This isn't something you're actively doing. Two of Coins talks about a business venture, job offer, or this feels like headhunting, like someone coming to you with a job offer. This was showing up, Two of Coins was showing up with business ventures and collaboration earlier with, I think, Aquarius. But Two of Coins is showing up and it's going to be a surprise. You're going to get a job offer or a new project from someone that's gonna be fun and exciting because it's all backed by Page of Cups, which means it's something new, um, a little terrifying because you don't know these people very well and you're gonna love doing it. So that's a lot of positive energy. I'm enjoying seeing that. You're very careful with taking on new business ventures as you've gotten burned in the past. So I see you taking good stock in a map, map, map of where you've been, where you're at, where you're going and making sure that it's in alignment. This new project is in alignment with what you're already doing. Don't make too many changes next week. The answering cards that I'm getting for you for end result was 10 of swords. Just be cautious of what your commitments are because you're going to be free and loose for next week. So just pay attention to your calendar. You guys are going to get a little more stressed out toward the end of the week instead of starting out that way. You're pretty cool and level with it. Nothing else is really popping up and I don't want to screw with it. So let's leave it at that. 
Um, everybody else was getting trippy and complicated. Let's take a win where we have a win. This doesn't feel too shitty to me. I'm liking it. There's a lot of positive energy, new work. It's a little bit of attitude here and there. Balance, like emotional balance, all good stuff. I like it. So those of you involved in relationships, I am picking up that you're going to have a little deeper connection with these people coming up too. So you also have a little connection with them. That overflows. Anyways, thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Karma. This is my Karma on Deck channel. If you would like a personal reading, find me on my website, Karma on Deck. Email me. Let me know where you are. I get a lot getting kick out of that. And uh, tell me how you feel your reading went. Have a good night. I will see you next week or sooner.